there's that. Can still use that. That's nice. I guess uh I guess Gwendolyn is technically the keeper of that bonfire. Since there is no real Guinevere to speak of. It's gonna be two two guardians down here. Yes, two bodyguards. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. Is that Tarkus? That's... That's actually Black Iron Tarkus. I didn't know he made an appearance. And who's this guy? I don't know. Looks like he's wearing, uh... The Hollow Warrior set? No, he's... That's... Is that Balder? Yeah, he's wearing Balder set. That's interesting. I wonder who he could be. Wow, that's totally... Tarkus. That's so strange. I've read the wiki on this and they never mentioned that Tarkus is one of those bodyguards. Sorry about the shower sound there. This uh, roommate taking a shower. <laughs> but yeah, wow, that's interesting. I don't know why I've never heard of that reading the wiki on those guys. So, of course, we still have to kill the uh, giant blacksmith as well. Forgot to kill Laurentis at Firelink, too. That's a hint to find the um, crystal ember. I think it's called the crystal, crystal ember. The one that lets you make crystal weapons uh, in Duke's archives. Tis no good, but forge with iron. Talk, tis no error. Everyone go home. You, friend, you talk. I do no talk, but happy. Wait, so he says everyone go home? That's interesting. Well, I guess it being a simple-minded uh, giant in this case, he wouldn't really, um, wouldn't really know what happened to him. They didn't really go home, now did they? So, um, all this stuff, whatever. I can get this next time through. Nothing, nothing important. Um, don't really need any of this either. We'll get some of these just in case we run across something and we want to upgrade with it. Maybe. This guy's got some health. Can he not leave the door? Or is he just kind of clipping it? Sorry, friend. Gonna have to soul speed your crotch. Never picked this, this up either, the uh, Hawk Ring. Which, uh, I believe it might actually even say in the description is the Ring of Hawkeye Go. 
Four Knights of Gwyn. Yes, the hawk ring belonged to Hawkeye Go, who led the great archers. And so, um, they, he was actually a friend of this giant. I never noticed that there's so many Silver Knight statues. I guess you, <clears throat> I guess usually because I'm busy dodging people out here. The Twilight to Van Orlando. Here's the Firekeeper, who is a Blade of the Dark Moon, come to avenge Gwendolyn. With your buff weapon. So it was you. How dare you produce a blade upon a deity? How did you ever get this far? I shall end your suffering here and now. It is the least that I can do. It's only one thing being ended right now, lady. We're gonna have a plus six, six Estus flask. <laughs> That's not hard enough to say. Uh, which way do we want to push this? This way? Nope, not that way. Other way, we're going down to fight Gwyndolin. Uh, I am expecting to win this fight on the first try. Gwyndolin, I'll have to admit, it. Ooh, we're falling. Uh, <laughs> I have to admit, is another boss I actually have never fought before, but uh, I kind of know the deal, and we have such powerful magic that uh, I think it should be just fine. We got this nice bonfire right here. That's interesting. This is Gwendolyn's symbol. That's what is. That's his little headpiece with these crystals on the corners. What are those about? Is this what? Is this like some sort of incantation that's maintained? Oh, they're candles. So maybe this is something that's helped maintain the illusion. I don't know. Heretic. <clears throat> First thou offendest the godmother, and now thou seek fit to trample upon the tomb of the great lord. I am the dark sun, Gwyndolin. Let the atonement for thy felonies commence. Now I do want my shield for this, only so that I can run and still do a dodge instead of a jump. Oh. Got me with that one. Can he hit me through here with those? No. Ow, okay. <laughs> alright. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I think, uh, I think those small ones is the only attack that you have to hide behind the pillar for, come to think of it. Hey, does it not let me... Oh, that's weird. Alright, be right back. Alright, I had to travel all the way to Sens to get back here, because, uh, for some reason doesn't let you spawn here.
Alright, so I'll try this again. Pay a little bit more attention, but yeah, I think, uh... Oh, how bizarre. Heretic. Plays it again, huh? And I don't get my souls back, apparently. Oh, it's up there. Oh, it's actually represented properly. Yeah, I think you have to hide from these. Ah, you butt. my chance. Blah. Alright. I think you do have to hide from these. I, I'm starting to kind of feel like maybe you... Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they're, they're spaced out where you can't dodge them. And uh, because of that, you you definitely I don't I don't see any way around that. You have to hide from them. It's kind of strange that uh, if you die in Twilight and Orlando, it won't put you back at this fire. That's kind of lame. I wonder if it let me go back to Chamber of the Princess. Hmm. I don't know. It's annoying having to go back to uh, Sens every time though. Arrows? When does he ever open with arrows? Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, which I should have been doing the whole time. So there's making use of the roll instead of the jump. Now at this point we just gotta get close to him. Gotcha! Cost me all my souls, though. Oh well, I don't think I need them for anything else, anyways. Check this place out. Sunlight blade. Got a chair. This is probably where Gwendolyn sits, maybe, guarding the tomb. There's, uh, flowers placed on the tomb. Oh, empty. That's interesting. Again, this is a boss I've never killed before, so, um, I don't really know this area. That's interesting that this would be empty. I wonder if that's significant at all. Is this one the same case? 
Okay, this is where we get to. Okay, cool. Nothing over here. The inscriptions. Hmm. I'll take a look at this also another time. See if I can uh, discern anything from it. But uh, there you go. So the uh, tomb of, uh, of Gwyn. I believe this is... I believe that's what this is. Alright, now just to wrap up uh, a loose end or two. And we'll be out of here. Now, by the way, my favorite farming route that I mentioned a couple times before but never got to show you guys. Um, the uh, six large knights here. Double attune soul spear or use dusk's ring for six casts on the soul spear. If you have high enough intel intelligence to one shot them, you can also throw on your covetous uh, silver serpent ring and the mimic head symbol of avarice. And you can run to each one, one shot all of them, and that's over 10,000 uh, souls in less than a minute. I think it takes about 45 seconds is what it was. I timed it once. So there's that. But uh, last couple things. Uh, we'll head back to... Um... Ah, whatever. Head back to... Uh... I can't remember his name. Laurentis. Take out Laurentis, even though I don't think he drops anything we want or need. Oh, let's kill that giant. What? Dark Sun Gwendolyn, if you come for your revenge, what the hell? Is this an illusion he has cast upon my screen? That's gonna go away. But alright. Oh, you know what? There's a man in here, too. So many people to kill. I'm definitely gonna have to make this two episodes. You're probably watching part two right now. Because there are more people. There's a lot of people to kill in this game. drop a chunk? No, nothing. Doesn't drop anything, huh? Alright. Let's, uh, let's go get revenge on the other giant, too. <clears throat> I'm doing all this so you guys can uh, learn what all the enemies drop. Or what all the NPCs drop. Uh, Dark Sun Gwendolyn doesn't want to leave me alone, apparently, though. So, uh, not sure what the deal with that is. Wait, why is this closed? That's peculiar. I think Dark Sun is uh, recasting all these illusions on me as one final revenge. It's like this guy actually got the best of us last time. Okay, this one drops a chunk. It must be just a random chance for them to drop him, not a guarantee. Wish uh, Dark Sun would go away. I might have to exit and come back.
I'm like half expecting him to like descend from the sky. <laughs> like he's in his second form. Huh, that really won't go away, huh? Let's uh, try exiting. There we go, that does it. Alright, loose ends, loose ends, Laurentis. Who else? Who else exists in the world? Besides Forest Bros, that I'd have to join. Um. Well, here's oh, what happens. You've been a stranger these days. Why? What? What? What spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I have never seen anything like it. If you tell him yes, then he'll go down to search for Quailana in the swamp and uh, go hollow. We'll say no for now. I see. I suppose I was mistaken. In any case, I definitely trust you. Apologies, my friend. Forget that I said anything. And so that is what you should do. You should not let him see your advanced pyromancies. Pyromancy produced the pyromant my you are Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare. So Laurentis's happy ending is just staying oh, here really? at Firelink. Oh, I don't know if he'll ever ask you again. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. But uh, it's a bad ending, right. trust me. But either way, we're going to uh, be finishing him off. And with hardly a word, he disappears. Doesn't drop anything. But had to test it out. Rhea. I am coming for you, Rhea. We might buy out all of her uh, miracles, too. Because she's harder to get. She's harder to uh, get to show up. Kind of. Not really, I guess. You have to go to the Tomb of the Giants anyway, she's kind of on the way, but it's pretty late game either way. Okay, that is everything she has to offer. I do not warm easily to unfamiliar faces. The bonfire below is so very frequented it makes it difficult. I have lost all those who were close to me. I do not warm easy the bonfire I have lost. The bonfire below. I do not warm easy the bonfire below is so very frequent and oh, fire difficult. I have lost all those who hmm. She is depressed. Be safe. Farewell. Very your nux. Very that's interesting. Hmm. What happens if I um Would a miracle be of any help? Then be safe. Does he say anything if I leave abruptly? No. Okay. Alright, that's everything for her. Goodbye, sweet Rhea. We worked so hard to save you. And here you go. Okay, let's uh, reinforce our Estes. Who else? Can you kill, um, can you kill the first blacksmith? I forget his name. I never use him. Uh, the one in New Londo. He's the first blacksmith you, um, have access to. I don't know if I showed you guys. I think I did. <clears throat> So we'll head down that way and reinforce our Estus flask. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yeah, more more Estus than we'll ever need. I don't think we can even actually kill her. The wiki says you can't. I wonder if the spear would be capable of reaching her, though. Hmm. Try jumping, no thanks. Let's see. Well, let's see if we can take this guy out. Hmm? Well, this is unusual. And more importantly, you're free. Well, I'm Rick here. Oh. I, was once <clears established. throat> I guess I never did talk to him. Look at me now. Can't. Can't. Hmm? Have you? It's safe here. It's safe. Although, I must have... How about this? I'll show you what made me the... So yeah, this is the first uh, blacksmith you have access to. Teaches you some basic soul arrows. You could get the um, second soul arrow here if you want to double attune it if you start as a sorcerer. There's not we're both cut. But other than that, Come back unimpressive. Soon. I wonder if I can Smithing helps. Don't let me with hit him with my soul spear. No, figured as much. Alright, let's get the horn out. Got a hollow. Oh wow, he has a lot of health. Impossible. Why didn't I see it? You've got a hollow. So if you kill him he just thinks you went hollow. Curses himself for not seeing that you had. Okay, anyone else? Last call, guys. Give me some ideas here. Have I forgotten anyone? I don't think I have. Got the Crestfallen Merchant. All the Firelink fellows. I probably shouldn't do this, but I don't think it'll work anyways. Yeah, okay, she is unkillable. If I could hit, if anything could hit her, this would be. So that's fine, that's all jolly and good. Well guys, if that's it, we're heading down. We are heading down to Glen. Final showdown. And this is where I'm gonna call it, guys. So, did a lot. I'm sure I've split this into um, two episodes at this point, because we did a lot. A lot of executions, a lot of bosses. Three bosses. So, yeah, a lot's happening. I wanna get the cool angle just right. Wow, this has a big range to rest at it. Come on, come on, here you go. Alright, so, call the tier. Um, next up, 
Gwyn. It's going to be a short video, but it's going to be the last one of this series. Oh, tear. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, and welcome to uh, next time. <laughs> I did forget a few things. Doing this part in uh, post commentary, if you can't tell. But uh, we forgot to kill Go, the best bro. We didn't even know that he was too slow. So he drops his set and his bow, which he will give you if you kill Calamite. I don't know how it shrinks, but it does. And so I also forgot uh, Oscar here. It's Oscar, right? I always forget their names on the spot, but I wanted to grab the uh, Poison Bite ring there. Um, and the Blood Bite, but I never use them, but it, it felt like I should grab them. But he doesn't really say anything, nothing else to do with him here, so uh, that put an end to it. Two Twin Humanities, which isn't bad. Now down the catacombs, the stairway that's broken, as you can see, walking off is actually the best way to get down. Because we never actually went to Vamos, the blacksmith down here. And so I, that uh, opens up that passage as well. So he is the last blacksmith. He handles the flame members uh, as well, you know, like the chaos one in regular. The new Londo blacksmith that we killed last time. Or was that this time? I don't even know. But the, the one in New Londo, he handles all of the magic embers. Unfortunately, he, uh, he doesn't really sell anything. Just uh, some homeward bones, uh, some titanite shards, and some regular arrows and bolts. He doesn't really talk either. Not one for chit-chat. He had a good reason. Because you dropped the Viking Helm, which looks kind of cool. Actually, he did some PvP with a guy on a different uh, character who was wearing that helm. He had a whole Viking get up. It was actually really cool. He's looking at the uh, description. Believed to belong to an ancient royal line, but only Vamos would know for sure. And he shall never speak again. Maybe that's why he doesn't speak very much. And so, with that done, I also wanted to get uh, Tranquil Walk of Peace. It's a miracle that it has an area of effect when you cast it that slows all the people that fall within range of it. So it's pretty good, actually. And uh, lets out here, that little shortcut. But uh, with that all done, that was it, and uh, head back down here, so I'll see you guys next time with Gwyn, the last part.